Do you want to learn Revit? Or you need training material for your business? Join thousands of users and download the Revit Pure Basics Learning Package. It is the most fun and efficient way to learn Revit. It contains an ebook, video tutorials, a template, and an exercise project. Learn more at revitpure.com basics or check the link in the description below. In Revit, you can pick between three types of transition for top rails and handrails. Here are the available options, none, simple, and gooseneck. This video is going to teach you how to modify the transition option. In this example, we have a top rail that is using the none transition option. It is recommended that you avoid this transition type because it often creates warning. In this example, we select the top rail by using tab. You can see there is a warning attributed to the top rail. The warning says that the rail is not continuous and that you need to change the transition style to fix it. Click on Edit Type to modify the railing properties. Click on the three small dots next to the top rail type. Here, you can change the type of the top rail used. We're going to switch to a top rail that uses the simple transition style. You can see the transition is fixed and the warning has been removed. Transition option is right here. You can see the transition is fixed and the warning has been removed. Let's try to change the whole railing to another type. We'll pick the gooseneck railing. You can see how the transition is affected. Let's go back to the top rail properties. You can see it uses the gooseneck transition option. A problem you might often get by using simple transition style is a break in the rail, just like in this example. That's because the railing doesn't have enough space for a smooth transition. We'll fix the issue by moving the boundary line toward the center of the landing. As you can see, the transition has been fixed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and check out the basics learning package.